Yo, what's good everyone and welcome back to the PJ Family. Alright, we got 21 pilots added with a pen and we about to get into it. Let's see what this is all about. Let's get it. Let's go. 21 pilots added with a pen. UG Studio Sessions. So this gonna be like live, huh? Hello. We haven't talked in quite some time. Mm. I know. I haven't been the best. Come on. Of sons, hello, I'm traveling in the desert of my mind. And I haven't found a drop of life. I haven't found a drop Woo. of you. I haven't found a drop mm. I haven't found a drop Of water Wow, I haven't found a drop of life And then further down in the song, he says, I haven't found a drop of water. You know, water is one of the main components that's needed in order to have a life. Oh, man. Come on. I haven't found a drop. Of water. H2O is important, y'all. H2O is important. Wait a second, wait a second, hold up. My man is literally running through sand. So he's running through sand and he's trying to hold the water that's in his hand. Water definitely seeps out of your hands. So he expected to keep holding on to the water. So therefore, I know for sure that he's not talking about water. He's talking about something that symbolizes water. What is this symbol? Let's find out. Let's see if he says it. Onto what's left in my hand, but no matter how how tightly I will strain, the sand will slow me down and the water will drain. The dramatic effect. I'm only at it oh. again as an addict with a pen who's addicted to the wind as it blows me back and forth, mindless, mindless, and pretend. Of course I'll be here again. See you tomorrow, but it's the end of today. End oh. of my ways as a walking. Okay. I know I haven't 
them the best I'm shining so low I've been traveling in a desert of my mind And I haven't found a drop I get it. I get it. That was fire. Yo, if y'all enjoyed that reaction, let me know in the comments down below. If y'all notice anything that I have, may have missed, let me know in the comments below. But PJ's final thoughts is about to start up, so get ready for that. If you haven't hit that like button yet or that sub button, get to it. And that's pretty much it. Let's get it. Let's go. Yo. Welcome to PJ's final thoughts. Um, so first and foremost, I think with this UG studio session, first of all, what is UG? Is it underground? Let me know in the comments down below. Um, secondly, at first I was very confused about where he was running. Why was he trapped by sand and this sand that was pulling him down constantly? And then I started to realize, similar to NF. He started to basically know that his mind was the thing that was trapping him. So NF talks about that a lot. They do the same. They're talking about how their mind, they feel trapped. The, the sun is, I mean, the sand is constantly being able to really drag them down and pull them down. And they're saying they have no life. The only life that they can find is, is water. And this water is in their hand. So now they're thinking, ah, oh, my life is in my hand. And if my life is in my hand and this sand is pulling me down, this is the only thing that's there to help me. And what's pulling them down is their mind. So it's constant, it's a constant battle. So everything that they're going through, um, it's constantly wearing on them, constantly pulling their body down, making it very hard for them to be successful, very hard for them to want to actually achieve this life that they have in their hand. So this life is constantly being dragged down and they're trying to pull it back up and trying to pull themselves back up to save themselves. That's what I got out of it. Let me know in the comments if you agree or not. It would be super helpful. If you do, if you don't, let me know. We're all a family. We're here to share together. And uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get it. Let's go.